This is the craziest thing I've seen. 5,000 yen, so that's like about $50 for these. It's a crazy ripoff. 1,500. It's not too bad, but I already have a bunch of these. So we got a GameCube for 1,400 yen, so that's about like... <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the hunting for Pokemon stuff. Uh, I'm going to be going to a book off in Kyoto today. So I'll update you guys when I get there. It's a bit of a gloomy day. Uh, but as you saw in the footage before, I was at the monkey park. But now I'm going to the outskirts of Kyoto just to check out some book off. All right, I finally just arrived to an area of North Kyoto called Koksaikan. And there is a book off in this area. I, I usually come up here north because um, it does seem like well, they had a lot better stuff in areas where it's a bit hard to get. Um, I'm not in the epicenter of Kyoto, which um, I'm going to be showing you guys tomorrow uh, in another video. Um, yeah, how hectic it can be and how picked over it is. So I kind of want to show you guys how much stuff they have at this book off because it is a bit harder to get to by taking a train out of the city a little bit. Uh, even though we are still in Kyoto city, it is a bit out north. So um, I just want to show you guys what I find. So this is why I like going shopping in the countryside uh, book off because you find natural beauty like this. All right, after a quick five minute walk from that station, we are finally here at the first book off. Um, we are finally here at the book off and it looks like an old one, but it's actually a pretty good one. I've bought a few games from here in the past, a like crystal version for a moderately good price. So let's see what we get. This is a kind of like an interesting thing that a lot of book offs have is um, the buy list. So these are essentially how much book off is willing to pay you for that Pikachu card. They'll pay you $250 roughly. So basically if you're ever in Japan and you pull any of these cards and you want to sell it to book off just for cash, um, this is probably the best place to go or any book off. You can see the prices, how much you can get for per card that they're buying, currently buying for. Figures It's not too bad, but I already have a bunch of these. Yeah, really cool to find Pokemon stuff. I love finding Pokemon things. Um, let's keep looking. Yeah, I, don't, I think that might be it. The only Pokemon game that I found in here. Um, we got some old vintage stuff. I mean, Nintendo 64, box games. 
Um, oh, we got Zelda right here. It's pretty cool. 2,000 yen, but pretty good condition. I, I usually buy for like 1,000 yen. Um, I try to stay in the $10 mark, but um, that's what we got. Let's see what else they got in here. We got boxed Mario game for 1,000 yen. That's not too bad. Let's see what else they got. Uh, some Nintendo old Game Boy games. Um, I used to play this baseball game, that was cool. 1,500, these are all boxed games, so they're gonna be a bit more on the premium side. We got so many Nintendo 64 games right here. Mario 64, Super Smash Bros. 480, Donkey Kong for 270. This is the end, so they're roughly in the $2 mark, like even this Hello Pikachu is 270 yen. It's about $2. Um, yeah, if I find anything, I'll let you guys know, but I, I would say that it's a basically 500 yen, so roughly like four US dollars for these games. Um, not bad of a price, but obviously if you can get it for cheaper, it'd be better. So we got some of these expensive, we got Erica for 2,000, 22,000 yen, which is about 200 US dollars, not bad of a price, I guess. We got the Game of Master Ball, $300, so about like, or 30,000 yen, which is about 270 US dollars currently. So these are the price of your cards all in the, the case. So we got a GameCube for 1,400 yen. So that's about like 10 US dollars. Um, oh, it's a bit stuck and sticky. You can tell there. And they got these, wow, these for old PlayStations for 500 yen, which is about like three US dollars. That's crazy. Um, so these are the retro games. They're all $5 right here. There's so many of them. And we got Wii's for a thousand yen, which is about seven US dollars, I think. Um, we got Wii U, 50% off, so that'd be like 2,200 yen, which is about 18 dollars USD. Um, yeah, so lots of cool stuff. We got accessories. Controller for 500 yen, which is about three US dollars. Um, just some shipments of random stuff that they have at Woodbox. Check this one out, that's like a kind of a controller, for roughly the same price. We got accessories in there. Some box stuff. Yeah, really cool. It's really cool to see some of this stuff. So usually at Book Off, they have these like 33 yen boxes, and they'll have like assortments of random one dollar cards in here. Usually, I try to get my VB Maxes for like the same price, but here it seems like they're all 110 yen, so it's a bit expensive, but still cool to see. Yeah, these bricks are definitely something you should buy if you're interested in getting like a lucky dip type thing. This is the craziest thing I've seen. 5,000 yen, so it's like about $50 for these. It's a crazy ripoff. This is the craziest that I've seen. They're usually like 300 or 400 yen each at the cost, but this is 5,000 yen. This is never heard of. I don't know why it's so expensive here, but it's unfathomable to pay 50 bucks for this. It's crazy. $100. They usually sell for like 50 bucks, but it's really overpriced here at this one off. All right, so I'm actually just leaving the book off now, but I really don't understand how the, those Pokemon games were 5,000 yen, when literally at every single book off, you can look around all over Japan, and just the game itself is like 500 yen. You can watch the video that I have literally before, or like two videos before, uh, but I bought those char the, the red version, the Japanese version, for only like 400 yen. Uh, or maybe it was 500 yen, which is about three US dollars. But at that book off, they were selling it for, you know, over 5,000 yen, which is about over, you know, $45. And I don't understand because I've been to that uh, book, I've been to that exact book off last year and bought crystal version for like 800 yen, which is about five US dollars at the time. So it's really confusing because you know, I, I'm wondering if I should just bring all my Pokemon games here and sell it to them. And if they're charging 50 bucks, that means are they going to value the game at, you know, uh, reset? Would they buy my game for at least like $20 maybe? Like even if it's half the price, even if they bought the game for me for $10, I'd still make more profit by buying it from other shops and then reselling it to the, that book off specifically because I don't know why they would up charge that, why they would up, up why they would upcharge that Pokemon game because that's like Tokyo price. Even Tokyo doesn't sell those games for that expensive, you know? Um, in the city, I believe Tokyo would sell them for like $20, maybe max $25 or 25,000 yen. 
and here they're selling it for 40 50 so that was just really confusing i just wanted to kind of talk about it after i left because i didn't want to kind of rant about it in the store but i've never seen that ever happen um especially in a countryside i wouldn't say countryside but you know out of town you see mountains here um uh, yeah it, it was really weird that they were able to that they actually put the price up so high for those pokemon games because you know who's gonna buy them you can literally get them online for 500 yen from book off uh, from other sh stores online um so it's, it was just really weird i just want to talk about that but anyways if you like this content I'll read. but anyways if you like this content i just kind of wanted to rant but anyways if you like this content i really appreciate you like comment subscribe and i'll be making more videos like this so i'll see you in the next one bye all right so on my way to book off um i found out that there was actually a second street uh, which is usually a clothing store but they usually sometimes have uh figures and random pokemon stuff so i wanted to check out the store before i head off to book off uh, on my way to book off so uh, let's see if they have anything cool um it's called second street and it's called second street and this is in kyoto so let's go see yeah there's lots and lots of clothes here um but unfortunately no toys here all right so on my way to the book off i found there was a used shop that has training car games and stuff so i'm gonna check it out really quick and see if i can find anything here um before going to book off so it looks like they've got a lot of old vintage stuff here but uh i'm just gonna show you guys what type of stuff there is here some pretty cool stuff these are the newer cars some Charizard for 2,700 yen. If you guys see anything good, you guys let me know in the comments. Um, but just kind of scanning through. Oh, there's like a celebrations one right there. Oh, it's like a sample. Yeah, some cool looking Charizard cards. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna look through and let you guys know what I pick up from this store before I go to book off. Just found some um, Pokemon 151 stuff here. Yeah, lots of Pokemon cards here. They've got Dragon Ball Z stuff here as well. Um, yeah. So lots of figures and stuff. They got cool Charizard Amiibo. Um, gonna look for the games now. Let's see if there's any retro stuff here. It's like the PS5, PS4 stuff. And yeah, let's see what we find around here. So here's all the 30 cent bulk stuff. Um, there's just too many cards for me to kind of sit through just because I'm limited on time uh, But yeah, there's so many cards that if you're trying to complete sets and stuff definitely worth checking out So someone's obviously looked through these but um some really cool looking cards Like if you're just trying to add to like a collection or trying to make it like I don't know a folder out of Dragon Ball Z cards Those are pretty cool uh, holo cards to add to your collection. Um, I used to do that. I used to get all the booze and um, add them together and here's some, some of the blocks that I've seen a lot of people do uh, at book offs and stuff is like 500 yen for a block of cards um, it's like a lucky dip type thing kind of cool if you there's certain cards that you like um, like this one I'd probably kind of get um, a gloom and yeah there's just a lot of stuff here so what's really cool about these outlet shops is they have some like Dragon Ball Z glasses um, random stuff that you can kind of find for really cheap. They're usually 100 yen, like which is about 80 cents USD. You can find the most random, like muscle men, uh, a lot of pings. And occasionally I look for like the Pokemon stuff, but um, oh, that's kind of a cool Transformer type thing. The 300 yen, um, looks like a vintage one. Um, but yeah, just random toys that you kind of look for um, is always cool to find um, in these types of stores. But yeah, um, I'm gonna look around and see if there's anything that I can get and let you guys know. So I just found some of the uh, GameCube stuff. We got a GameCube here for roughly 3,000 yen, which is about $30 roughly, or 25 US dollars. Um, let's just look around for more stuff.